Pastor Regina, and I'm about to um, preach this morning. I want everybody to turn to the book of the 23rd Psalms. I love y'all so much. And let's read. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for a name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil for dying with me. Thou rod and thy step that comfort me. Thou prepares to take before me the person of my enemies. Thou knowest my head before my cup runs over. Surely mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We're going to talk about, I got a speech today. And it's talking about the nation. And the coronavirus. I'm civil rights leader, Pastor Regina Muhammad. Deep in my heart, I'm asking the President Trump, did you bring this coronavirus of hate to our nation? Yes or no? Did you hire a hitman from the China to come to our city with the coronavirus? Yes or no? Did you deep inside have something to do with the coronavirus brought to our nation? Yes or no? Did you pay the majority of our nation the stimulus check to cover up your action and your guilt for the coronavirus and being the president of the United States? Yes or no? Did you deep inside lie to the world for becoming the president of the United States? Yes or no? Did you lie to the senators, congress, mayors, judges of any kind? Yes or no? In 2019, before the coronavirus entered our city, did you bring the devil from China to our nation, yes or no, to destroy us? In 2019, around February 2020, everybody started getting sick. Did you bring the coronavirus to harm us or for revenge to the president and us, to our president Joe Biden? Did you and your wife, y'all knew what y'all was doing, trying to be sneaky, and y'all dug a ditch for everyone and you all fell in it? Amen. I have another concern. Do you plan, Mr. President, to leave my people alone and move forward? Yes or no. Do you plan to be peaceful and having a heart for my people? Yes or no. We don't want any war, protest of any means necessary from you or your supporters. God said, obey his commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Also, I have another concern. Do you plan to turn yourself in for your action that you created with the